Hey everybody, Sean here from Song Wine Club, and today I'm gonna to take you through a tasting of the 2017 Epoch Terroir Collection Bergerac that you have in the January 2022 Song Wine Club box. I find Bergerac to be intensely fascinating. It is located directly east of the classic French region of Bordeaux, uh, but it doesn't even have a fraction of the same reputation or understanding from a consumer's perspective. And there's a couple of things that lead to that being the case. Even though Bergerac uh, is planted to the same grape varieties as Bordeaux, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, because the Bordelais were in charge of the port, were in charge of exports, they basically relegated everything that wasn't Bordeaux wine to be second class. So they focused on their own exports first, and then anything that was left over after is what was able to make up the next kind of wave that went through the ports. And Bergerac, unfortunately, even though it has really close proximity, kind of fell victim to that situation. So uh, Bergerac is located in the Dordogne, uh, department, which is, like I said, just to the east of Bordeaux, which is in the Gironde department. Uh, the estuary that runs from the Atlantic kind of into the port of Bordeaux is the, the Gironde estuary. You have the Dordogne River, which runs directly to the east, which is then what takes you into Bergerac. So this is primarily Merlot. Uh, it's about 70% Merlot with 30% Cabernet Franc making up the balance. Uh, very similar to a kind of right bank Bordeaux blend, which would be Merlot dominant with a little bit of Cabernet Franc. And honestly, it, it, it has a lot of similar characteristics. Lots of plum, lots of dried cherry, lots of tobacco and slightly vegetal green herbal character, a little bit of like dried wood chips, uh, forest floor that have been like thrown uh, like literally like dirty sawdust on top of. And that's not meant to be derogatory. It doesn't taste like that, but it has this woodsy, earthy, leathery component to it, which is very characteristic of uh, a region in France that doesn't necessarily maybe have the same international reputation, international polish that some do. So this has some rusticity. It has some earthiness, some kind of farmhouse character to it. And I think that not only makes it really interesting, it makes it delicious to have and to understand what the style of wines that are consumed in the region are. So, taste. Yeah, this wine has some grit. This wine has some some tannin, but not aggressive, well kind of composed. Uh, you can taste the oak. Uh, I can taste that there is a little bit of new oak that's been used in the wine production. It has a little bit of vanilla. It has a little bit of spice character. But what really sticks out to me is the quality of the fruit. Because Bergerac is a little further inland, it has cooler nights and hotter days uh, and or warmer kind of growing season, cooler winters. So it doesn't have the moderating influence of the water of the estuary that Bordeaux has. So you're getting a little bit of kind of dried fruit character, a little bit of dried plum, some dried cherry, definitely kind of showing off that earthy kind of savory character. And I, I like, I like where this is going. I opened, well, I poured a little bit of this glass and it's been sitting for about 20, 30 minutes. So it's had a chance to open up. But I think that this wine is definitely in need of some aeration when it's first opened, put it into a decanter, give it a splash around to make sure that it's got some air and it has had a chance to wake up and express itself. Otherwise, I feel like it might be a little bit angular and a little bit kind of grumpy <laughs> like being woken up after a, a nap this is not a wine to have without food um 
if you watched the tasting note for the Marquez de Marietta, that is a wine that you could drink on its own, uh, even though it is uh, a highly polished and, and pristine wine. It doesn't necessarily need food. This needs food. So it's got some, some edges to it that will be softened by doing doing a roast, doing a, something homey, do like a cottage pie, do something with some meatiness to it, do like a Sunday roast with vegetables and potatoes, or if you're really adventurous, make your own little Yorkshire puddings. And that will really kind of bring out some of the kind of the softer edges on this wine. Uh, otherwise, you may find it to be a little bit angular and a little bit grumpy, like I said. But that should not stop you from enjoying it. Uh, it's delicious as it is right now. I am happy to be sharing something unique with you for this, uh, this month's Wine Club box. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.